Hey Astro Kids and welcome back. This is your daily horoscope for April 18th, 2020. So we are finally coming into this space here on April 18th and this is for around 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time where the moon comes into a conjunction with Neptune in Pisces. And so this is a great time of sensitivity as the moon and Neptune come together, right? Neptune wants to dissolve things. Neptune wants to be imaginative, wants to dream, wants to envision. And the moon is very emotional, very connected to our comfort and our needs of security. And so there is extreme sensitivity that comes with this moon conjunction with Neptune. This can be a great time of being very intuitive, being very spiritual, very daydreamy, very sensitive time as well. Be very cautious of how things are affecting you on an internal level. Be cautious that you are not being too open and too sensitive to the things around you. This is definitely a time of really taking things to heart that are not meant to be detrimental, not meant to tear you down, but this is a very sensitive, very open time here with the moon and Neptune together here in Pisces. Especially as Pisces is the home sign of Neptune. So Neptune is very comfortable here where there is this extreme sensitivity, this extreme openness. And as the moon comes into this conjunction, it heightens this sensitivity even further. Now, the moon is also making a square over to Venus in Gemini. And so as the moon is squaring off Venus, this is a bit of a conflict that is happening here between wanting to feel comfortable in being social, being talkative, being playful, being energetic, and then finding this comfort and security in coming back to what is familiar, what is safe into this internal space. And so there's a little bit of a conflict here on April 18th between wanting to stay to yourself, wanting to isolate, wanting to separate, and also just wanting to have fun and wanting to be social and wanting to connect with others. And so this can definitely create this indecisiveness in terms of do you want to come into this place of deep introspection and deep relaxation or do you want to have fun and be talkative and social? So a little bit of a push and pull in terms of our inner desires of what makes us feel comfortable, what makes us feel secure, and what feels good at this time. Now this is also making a semi-sextile over to Mars in Aquarius. So this is Mars about halfway through Aquarius. It's getting ready to move into Pisces very shortly here in the month of May. So Mars has finally created this very long distance between itself and Saturn, right? We have this very wide ranged orb between Saturn and Mars. And so Mars is finally off of Saturn now where it is pushing ahead, it's moving forward. And this is all about initiating and taking action in humanity, in the future, in moving forward, in these changes, in being your own individual self. And so there can be a lot of focus here with Mars and Aquarius on how can we help humanity and what are these bigger ideas for the future? What are these bigger thoughts and plans? What are these bigger goals, right? How can we look at ourselves as a collective? A lot of energy and focus is going into this at the moment. And it is 
building up to this space of really wanting to come into this deep introspective space, really being sensitive to the needs of others, being sensitive to how you can help to serve humanity. And so this can be a big time of wanting to sacrifice yourself to help others, wanting to give of yourself to others during this time, especially as we're in this time of crisis, that there is a sensitivity here with this moon in Pisces in terms of wanting to help others. We also see a semi-sextile over to Mercury in Aries. And we know that Mercury in Aries here is changing the game in terms of the way that we are thinking and communicating, right? We had Mercury spend a very long time in Pisces and spend a very long time in shadow before it finally came out and very shortly entering into this area here of Aries where it's much stronger, right? Because Mercury is at its fall position. It's debilitated in Pisces where Mercury is trying to think logically, trying to understand through this dreamlike imagination and mysticism of Pisces. But now in Aries, Mercury is given the energy and the focus and the drive and passion to express and communicate itself in a very direct and straightforward way. And so things much more clear, especially as Mercury is off of Chiron and Lilith at the moment. So there is a lot of clear communication, a lot of clear information that is coming to us directly. We're starting to make more sense of things and we're going to make even more sense of things as Mercury comes into Taurus, where it is going to become more practical, more focused on what is realistic, what makes sense, what is the most beneficial to put our value and our resources into. And this will eventually move ahead into its home sign of Gemini, where it feels most comfortable. And so Mercury is in a very powerful position at the moment. And this power and this energy and enthusiasm of knowing and being able to communicate and being able to understand things clearly and directly is building up along this journey. And so Mercury is here trying to help this moon in Pisces understand from a logical point of view during this very sensitive time. And so many of you may have a lot of clarity in terms of utilizing your intuition utilizing your ability to see things clearly with your inner guidance at this moment, right? This is a great time for psychic perception and intuition. We also see this making a semi-square over to the sun in Aries, which is at the last degree of Aries, right? It's getting ready to finally make its way here into Taurus which we will see on April 19th. And so the sun is finally finishing out here in this energy and enthusiasm about life and about taking action. And it's about to move into this more slow paced season of really taking your time, planning things out, doing things step by step and putting your focus into what is truly of the most value and worth in your life. And of course, that's going to be a very radical experience as the sun is already starting to come into this conjunction with Uranus in Taurus. And so very odd Taurus season that we're about to enter into here as it's going to make the conjunction with Uranus, creating a lot of unexpected changes and surprises here. And so there's a lot coming in here that is very much different from what we are used to in terms of this stepping into the Taurus season, right? Things are going to be very different, very radical, very extreme, a lot of changes, a lot of unexpected surprises coming in here as we step into this Taurus season. So that's the big news here. We do have the North Node starting to get to that critical point as it is at one degrees of cancer. 
And so this North node is once again getting to this critical point, this critical degree where some very extreme decisions need to be made. And we are going to see the North node at that critical degree during this new moon that we're going to see on the 22nd. So this new moon that is shortly coming up is a major turning point for many people in their lives in terms of what direction they are going in. Is it going to be something that is nurturing and fulfilling? And for those of you who would like to know more about this new moon that is coming up on the 22nd, go ahead and check out the video for the new moon in Taurus. But for April 18th, I also pulled some cards. So starting off here, we have Libra. And so this really is a time of coming into a place of balance, a place of alignment in your life through, once again, this Pisces moon of really using your intuition, using your abilities to perceive and understand at a deeper level so remember there's not a lot of this logical type of rational energy coming in here but there's a lot of intuitive perception and understanding from a very sensitive very psychic level that can very much help us bring this peace and harmony into our lives especially coming off of this kite energy that we experienced earlier on today next card we have here is the strength card in reverse and so once again with this pisces full moon this is a time of feeling very sensitive feeling very vulnerable very open with your feelings right this is a very emotional time with the moon coming together with neptune and so you want to be aware that this is a time where you are going to be very sensitive and vulnerable for many of you. And so continue to remain strong, continue to remain confident in yourself and not allowing these outside influences to take advantage of this sensitivity that you have. We also have the tower here in reverse. So remember that we are in this time here of rebuilding our foundation, our stability with Uranus in Taurus. It is the ultimate breakdown of our foundation. And Pluto is also doing this in Capricorn on a social world level where it is transforming and breaking down our reality as we know it. And Pluto will go into a retrograde very soon here. So keep in mind that we are still going through this internal transformation process. We're still making these changes that need to be made in order to build this new foundation, this new value, this new structure in our life that is supportive, that is beneficial to us on our journeys. And so it really is a time to not be hard on yourself, to not beat up on yourself, but to realize that you are going through this process in your life. Last card we have here is the King of Wands. And so once again, you want to remain strong, you want to remain confident, and you wanna to remember to bring that joy and love and passion into your life at this time, right? Humor and passion and joy and fun is a big part of how we can raise the frequency and the vibration to remain positive and continue to move forward along this difficult path and journey that we are currently on. So that was your horoscope for April 18th, 2020. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, feel free to leave a like as well as a comment. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell. Feel free to join the group Astro Metaphysical Love and Light to receive some guidance and love and motivational advice and spiritual wisdom as well as sharing your own spiritual wisdom 
Make sure to grow, to join the group Astro Metaphysical Love and Light on Facebook. And I want to thank you all once again for joining. I hope you all have a great day and I will see you in the next video.